this is Amy Alton, also known as Nurse Amy of doomandbloom.net. I am an advanced registered nurse practitioner and a certified nurse midwife, and I also provide medical supplies from store.doomandbloom.net. Today we're going to be discussing a disaster supply category that's known as hygiene and a little bit of health. Uh, we will be in the future detailing first aid supplies that you need for disasters based on where you are, maybe where you're going, and how you're traveling. So we'll be talking about that in the future. But real quick, let me just mention a couple things about medicines. Really super important in disasters. Uh, if a disaster has been declared or is coming, you can go get your prescriptions. Even if you just picked them up the day before, do that. Make sure you refill all your prescriptions immediately if something seems to be on the way, just in case. Even if it might steer off somewhere else, if it's a hurricane, uh, make sure you go ahead and get them. Have lots of over-the-counter medicines. Those are gonna take care of a lot of things that we'll be discussing in our future videos. So let's move on to hygiene. You wanna make sure that you keep your people clean. Your family members, anyone who's visiting, make sure you have lots and lots of soap. People who have clean skin, who get injured, they get burned or they get cut. Maybe they were chopping wood or maybe using a chainsaw, something really terrible happens. They have a little less chance of getting an infection because that skin was clean to begin with. So you wanna make sure that people are staying nice and clean, have baths regularly if you have the extra water, if you don't, that is okay because people have to drink water. That's primary. Bathing is secondary. However, you can keep people clean in other ways. You can use baby wipes, toddler wipes, uh, there are toilet wipes. So all of these are fine to use and you can kind of you know wash up with them. You want to have some hand sanitizer. If people have been doing things, other things, and then they're going to do things like food preparation or maybe tending to somebody's wound or someone who's sick, you want to make sure that if they can't wash their hands with soap and water, that they're at least using hand sanitizer. So that'll help uh, prevent some infections. Tooth and dental hygiene. You know, people underestimate the problems that can occur with poor dental hygiene. So even though it's a disaster and you might think, oh really, who cares about brushing your teeth? Have some tooth brushes. Toothpaste is fine. If you like the natural way, it's okay to dip a toothbrush in some hydrogen peroxide, get it nice and wet, and then dip it in baking soda. And that makes a really nice natural toothpaste. If you're gonna be outside it's hot. You definitely want to protect your folks from getting sunburn. So have some sunscreen. A lip balm is really good. Just depends on your environment. People get chap lips when it's really hot outside and they also get chap lips when it's really cold outside. If you have an environment that has a lot of mosquitoes, mosquitoes carry diseases and a lot of us aren't used to that because we're in an air conditioned environment. We go straight from our house into our car into work and back the other way and they're not really outside. If you lose your electricity and you have to open up your doors, it may invite some unwanted pests and uh, mosquitoes are really awful. <laughs> not only do they hurt and sting and itch, but again, we're talking about possible diseases. Keep your folks your group comfortable. This is a battery powered fan. This can be hung from different areas, uh, just pointed maybe while people are sleeping. It runs off of D battery, so you don't want to run it all the time because you're going to run those down. So keeping people cool is real important. Keeping people warm. So if you have some mylar blankets or wool blankets, make sure that people are, are staying at an appropriate temperature so they don't get sick. All right. This is Nurse Amy, thanking you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye. Hey, if you need a solid medical kit for that wilderness hike, hunting trip, or even long-term survival, check out Nurse Amy's entire line at store.doomandbloom.net. That's store.doomandbloom.net. You'll be glad you did.